I'm so honored to be standing next to Kelly Gilchrist and Kelly, obviously achieving the ultimate honor. Let's just talk about this gold medal around your neck. I mean, achieving that for water polo for your country, the USA, just a couple of months ago in Rio, a couple of weeks ago even. Just tell me about that experience. Yeah, I mean, it gives me chills even thinking about it. Uh, lifelong dream, you know, we were able to attain it, make it a reality, which was something special. And I'll forever remember uh, being on the podium, listening to our national anthem, you know, tears coming down my face, seeing my parents and fa friends and family in the stands forever be remembered. And then obviously we're standing here at a surfing contest and you've got aspirations to join the tour. So just tell me about those goals that you have in mind for yourself. Yeah, I mean, I've been, you know, putting the surfing dream off, you know, to get this dream. And now that I've done that, I'm really going to focus my time and start doing a few QS events this year, not put too much, um, too much pressure on myself and 2017 head down, try to make the tour. And as an athlete, I mean, you've worked so hard in water polo, but how can that translate into surfing? Yeah, I mean, the mental aspect, just the kind of the grind that I went through uh, for years for, you know, my entire life to get this. Uh, I think it will roll over pretty well for the surfing uh, mental aspect and knowing how to train and the work ethic. And I saw a lot of support on Instagram from the lakes of, uh, lakes of Lakey Peterson and obviously Sage Erickson. So a lot of the ladies in the surfing world are aware of you and, and obviously you're going to become a major threat. Yeah, I mean, those girls I grew up with surfing, and whether they know it or not, I watched them for years, and they gave me motivation to keep this dream alive. And just to get that support after getting this gold is uh, something special, and I'll always remember. And now it's uh, try to try to come after them as a competitor. <laughs> well, Keely, thank you so much for your time, and a huge congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Ron. Thank you, Rosie. Congratulations, Kaylee, and uh, best of luck with the qualifying series. That is going to be very interesting to watch. And uh, one of the other things that no doubt Kaylee will be thinking about Ross is surfing and the Olympics and the opportunity to maybe get a gold medal in another sport. Yeah, this is huge for surfing. Such a big step forward. So, you know, in 2020, uh, you know, surfing is going to give a, a crack at the Olympics. It's so exciting in Japan, uh, which is awesome for us. You know, we haven't had a championship tour event in some years uh, in Japan. So this is cool to, you know, get back to the stage over there. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of what, 15, 16 year olds, they're kind of rubbing their hands together like, all right, I want to make that team. Definitely. It's a, a really cool goal for them to keep in mind. Of course, uh, still a ways off, but there's going to be a lot of people focused on getting there. There's going to be a lot of surfers who are currently competing on the championship tour, trying to extend their careers to that point and giving themselves a crack at it. Even Kelly Slater said that, you know what, if he's in good form at when that rolls around, he'd love to have a, a go at it. So it's going to be fun to see. Yeah, Kelly uh, from Florida, uh, proud American. I'm sure he'd like to uh, represent the American flag at the, the ripe old age of 48. That'd be something.